So tonight, I'm doing the object lesson. Let me set my stuff down here so I don't have to turn back there. And I have a few questions for you guys. Has anybody in here, and you can just raise your hand, has anybody in here ever flown on an airplane? Wow, we got a lot of people that have flown on an airplane. All right, so let's let's see here. Um, keep your hands up for one second. Where did you fly to? Florida. Florida. All right. Where did you fly to? Pennsylvania. That was. Go ahead. Pennsylvania was one. Where'd you fly to? No, the one in front of you, right there. Besides there, yes. What's your? North Carolina. All right, let's go. Where did you fly to? Uh huh. Uh, Illinois. Illinois. All right, one more. Jared, where'd you fly to? Mississippi. All right. Oh, Fred, where'd you fly to? Uh, India, Germany, France. So he's flown all over the place. All right, all right. So flying's a lot of fun. I, I've only I've only got the opportunity to fly probably four or five different times, um, but it's a lot of fun. It's exciting. Because you get the opportunity, you go to the airport and you get to drive in all that great traffic. But you get to see the you get to see the airplanes take off. You see inside the airport. It's a whole lot of fun flying. You get it when you're climbing onto the plane. You see the captain. You see the pilot. I mean, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot, and it is really really exciting. And you guys may not know this, but Commander Barbara, her husband, is a pilot, and he gets to fly all the time. And not only does he get to fly all the time, but he gets paid to fly. Now, how awesome of a job would that be? Awesome. One, you get to fly, and two, you get paid. I'm in the wrong business, no. But then, it's great. I love flying. And you know, one of the things that I like about flying is I like the airplanes. The airplanes are so big, and they go so fast. The average airplane flies about 500 miles an hour. That is quick, 500 miles an hour. Now your car, you generally don't go much more than 60 miles an hour unless you want to get a speeding ticket. You might go up to about 70, but you generally don't go any faster than that. So if you're at 60 miles an hour versus 500 miles an hour, that's a big difference. Airplanes go really fast and they can take you anywhere you want to go. Like Brother Fred, he went to India and Germany and France and some went to Pennsylvania and Mississippi. Nebraska, Denver, all kinds of different places we've flown to. It'll take you. You went to Washington D.C. All right, so you can you can go. So you can fly and you can go all kinds of places, and that's what I like about flying. I like the airplanes. The other thing that I like about airplanes is, you know, with a piece of paper, you can build an airplane. Did you guys know that? Yeah. With a piece of paper, you can build an airplane. And so I brought some of my best. Finely built paper airplanes, all right? So we'll start off with this one. I got this blue one here. And it's a simple one to make. You guys have probably made airplanes like this. And it flies somewhat. It flies, all right? Now the second one I got here, this one here is a little bit faster. This would be more like a jet, okay? So it's a, it's a black one. Streamlined, good. Flies pretty good. It gets caught with the air conditioner, but it flies pretty good. And then I got this one here, and this one's a little bit more oddly built or strangely built. From the underneath here, it's got like a little triangle that you hold onto, and it flies pretty good. Has a little bit of curve to it. And then lastly, I got this one here, and this one may not look like a whole lot, but it's like a it's like a dart. Okay, and this one flies really fast and really far. I had to tape the end because otherwise, it hits a wall. It's gonna bend up, so it'll fly really good. So those, those are some of the those are some of the paper airplanes that you can build, and they come in all different shapes, all different sizes, all different colors. However, you want to build a paper airplane, you can build a paper airplane. But tonight, I'm going to show you guys how to build a magic airplane. All right? Now, this is going to be a magic airplane. I'm going to show you how to build this magic airplane out of paper. Okay? Now, there's going to be something special about this airplane, so you want to watch to see this airplane. Now, most airplanes, when you start making a paper airplane, you start by folding in like this, okay? This one's a little different. We're going to start by taking this corner here, and we're going to fold it over to this side here. And we're going to take it, fold it over like this. Put a good crease in it. So it might be a little different than most airplanes that you guys have built. Fold it over like that. Then I'm going to take this side here, this top corner, and I'm going to fold it over 
to this side here. Okay, it does kind of look like a house, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a little house. So I'm going to fold this over here, and I'm going to crease that pretty good like that, all right? So now, like we said, it looks kind of like a house. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold it in half together, like you would a normal airplane. And this is part that kind of looks, looks pretty well normal. You fold it like this, and then I'm going to fold the wings down. So I'm going to fold the wings down. It's not very straight, but I'm going to fold the wings down like this. Now, it may look a little different from some of the airplanes we showed before and maybe some of the airplanes you see because it's kind of got a little fin there, right? It's a little weird, all right? Let, let's, see if it, let's see if it flies. It flies okay. It flies okay. Now, we're going to take, because this does look a little odd, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this wing over like this, okay? So now we got this airplane like this and this airplane will fly. And it's going to fly maybe as good as some of those, maybe not quite as good. But can a, where, where can it, where, how far can an airplane go? 50 um, miles. 50 um, miles, go ahead. Um, five. It, can, it can go pretty far. It can go up into oh. the clouds. No. Now, can it fly past the clouds? No. Can it fly into outer space? No. no. Can, it, can it fly to heaven? No. no. All right, so, so, so an airplane can't fly to heaven, so... I said this was a magic airplane, it was a special airplane, but I'm a little disappointed because this airplane, it can't fly me to heaven. So I'm going to make some changes to the airplane here, okay? So I'm going to take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since it can't fly me to, to heaven, I'm going to tear the wings off because, you know, it's not, it's not going to fly me to heaven. So I'm going to tear the wings off here. That's all right. It'll be okay. So I'm going to tear the wings here off. And... I'm going to go ahead and tear this way here, okay? So we tore the wings off, and now, check it out. I got a rocket. You're right, I got a rocket, okay? Now, who's ever flown in a rocket? Oh. Now, we got some liars here, because nobody's ever flown in a rocket, right? Nobody here has ever flown in a rocket. I have a wheel. I have a wheel. Hold on, guys, hold on. Hold on. Now rockets, rockets go a lot faster than airplanes. I talked about rockets, how they go about 500 miles an hour. Now that's that's the minimum. They can go a lot faster than that. But rockets go like 17,000 miles an hour. So it goes quite a bit faster than an airplane goes, right? So it goes quite a bit faster than an airplane. And like I said, we got this this special, this magic airplane. Now this rocket will fly up. It'll go into outer space. It'll go to the moon. It might go to Jupiter, might go to Mars. It can go way far out there, right? But can the rocket get me to heaven? No. No, the rocket can't get me to heaven. So I'm a little disappointed in this rocket because it can't get me to heaven. Now, who knows the way into heaven? Who knows how you get to heaven? Next to Miss Cap, how do you get to heaven? With God. With God, okay. Now, what about God? Go ahead, Miss Kinsey. You ask who? Uh, All right, we ask Jesus into our heart. Now, what did Jesus do for us so that we can ask him into our heart? Eli, what did Jesus do for us? He died on the cross. He died on the cross. Now, look at there. So I went from an airplane, which can't get me to heaven, to a rocket, which can't get me to heaven, to a cross, which is the only way to heaven. There's no other way to heaven. You can't fly to heaven. You can't sneak into heaven. You can't climb a fence to get into heaven. The only way to heaven is through the cross. And so I showed you today a magic airplane. Now the great thing about this airplane is anyone can make this airplane. And you can show it to your friends. You can talk to your friends about how the airplane won't take you to heaven. And you can change your airplane into a rocket and talk about how the rocket won't take you to heaven. But then you show them the cross, and you talk about how the cross is the only way into heaven. Now, I'm going to set this aside, and if I could get Mr. Drew here, please, to come up and pick up my airplane so they're not a distraction to anybody. That's the object lesson.